in this particular video lecture i am going to discuss with you people the different surveying instruments which has been used in our subject so our first instrument is hand level basically hand level is a tool which is generally used which is generally used for rough leveling as we discussed in our first chapter that is fundamentals of a survey hand level was used for the rough leveling or you can say the rough estimation or in the case of the in the case of the leveling which is not a precise leveling hand level is also used for the reconnaissance survey my dear students my main aim in this particular video lecture is to show you the different instruments how different instruments looks like so my dear students next one is what is bathymetric survey as we discussed in our uh, contour survey chapter basically bathymetric survey is basically the measurement of the depth of sea using the soundings or depth of the oceans or you can say the hydrographic survey is called as the bathymetric survey is called as the bathymetric survey in this bathymetric survey this is video recorder which is used for the uh, measurement of or taking the photographs or videographs and this is the eco sounder this complete height this complete height along with this complete height different soundings are measured along with this, this height different soundings are measured please be careful so my dear students along with this height different soundings are measured so next one is the sounding rod my dear students the, these soundings these soundings are measured with the help of the sounding rod or you can say the sounding rod is generally used for measurement of the soundings the basically it is used for it is used for measurement of measurement of soundings please be careful this is used for the measurement of the soundings so my dear students these are called as the sounding poles or sounding rods basically sounding pole there is a, uh, not a very big difference in between sounding pole and sounding rod is a pole of the sound straight sound means here hard way hard sound means here hard straight grained weld seasoned tough timber tough timber means hard wood hard wood is used generally 5 to 8 cm in diameter and 5 to 8 m in long so my dear students you can say these sounding poles are basically the ranging poles these sounding poles are basically the ranging poles as we discussed in our these are basically the ranging poles as we discussed in our ranging rods or you can say the linear measurement chapter these are used for shallow and quiet water shallow and quiet water Uh, for shallow and quiet waters these are used an arrow or lead show of sufficient wedge is fitted at the end this is the this is the that particular end an arrow is basically attached it helps in holding them upright in the water basically these arrow here here we can say that here arrow is attached here arrow is attached which is used to keep the sounding rods upright in the water lead or weight should be of the sufficient area so that it may not sink in the mud or sand means weight should be of the sufficient area otherwise weight may sink into the ground sink into the mean sea level or you can say the earth surface pole of 6 meter can be used for the depth up to 4 meter means 2 meter depth means 2 meter depth is generally used for 2 meter depth is generally used for for marking of the pole into the ground marking of the pole into the ground so my dear students our next instrument is is basically a sounding pole having the length of the 6 meter to or you can say 6 meter to 6 uh, meter to 10 meter length is there 6 meter to 10 meter length and you can see 5 cm to 8 cm in 5 cm to 8 cm in diameter in diameter so my dear students 
this is the basically the Weddell's sounding machine, which is used for the measurement of the deep depth, or you can say, as in the case of the sea, or you can say for measurement of for measurement of these are for the basically these are for measurement of measurement of depth in the case of the sea measurement of depth in sea location sea location so this is basically the weddell's sounding machine this is basically the weddell's sounding machine and for the shallow depths basically fathometer was used this is the weddell's sounding machine for the shallow depths this is also the weddell's sounding machine this is basically the echo sounder echo sounder is generally used for measurement of the great depth that is in the case of the oceans so basically in india the model used is called as ms48 echo sounder that is 12 inch depth 12 inch or you can say 1 ft depth fathometer portable ultrasonic echo sounder echo sounder looks like this way this is basically the echo sounder this is basically echo sounder and please be careful in india the model used is ms 48 echo sounder is generally used echo sounder is generally used so my dear student these are the basically if i am talking about the hydrographic survey for the measurement of velocity of the water bodies current meters are used current meters are used my dear students these current meters are also called as the price meters these are also called as the price these are also called as the price meters or the current meters so price meter type a a current meter on a sounding wedding road depth is having 2.5 ft or more and pygmy current meter for the depth less than 2.5 ft for velocity measurement of the water bodies this is called as the sounding sextant as we discussed in our chapter of nautical sextant and sounding sextant in this case this particular this particular scale is large its index glass this glass is called as the basically index glass index glass is larger than index glass of the nautical sextant otherwise there is not a very big difference other than the index glass size so this is also a nautical sextant or you can see the sounding sextant diagram please be careful this is the basically stainless sounding sextant basically the sounding sextant is gen, uh, is developed by stainless that's why name is given as the stainless sounding sextant this is also a sounding sextant made from the wooden or you can say it is also a nautical sextant we can we can say that this is a box sextant this box is of the 75 cm diameter this is 75 cm diameter 75 cm diameter a box sextant is used box sextant is basically instrument for angle measurement so my dear students this is also a box sextant my dear students as i have told you earlier main aim of this particular video is just only to show the different instruments and nothing more revenue chain is there this is the revenue chain which was 33 ft long having 16 links only for the measurement of ft and inches for the small areas and this was also used for the cadastral survey or you can say the revenue survey 
this is basically a mining dial a compass fitted with a compass fitted with a telescope or you can say the this is basically mining dial used for the mining survey basically used for mining survey this is used for mining survey so my dear students this is a also a mining dial another type of mining dial this is a construction of the plane scale and diagonal scale we had discussed construction of a plane scale and diagonal scale how plane scale and diagonal scale diagrams or sorry readings are can easily be read is 1491 is used for the plane scale that i have discussed earlier this is also a plane scale in diagonal this is a scale of chords which is used for measurement of the or for setting out of the chords as we discussed in our uh, chapter number setting out of the chords scale of chords for setting out of the long chords this is used for setting out of setting out of long chords this is used for the setting out of the long chords please be careful so this is a scale of chord a scale of chord may be used to set or read angle in the absence of a protractor to draw an angle compass is describe an arc from the origin with radius taken from the 60 mark so this is a vernier scale this is also a vernier scale retrograde vernier is there sorry this is a direct vernier because main scale and vernier scale readings are increasing in same direction this is retrograde vernier the construction of direct vernier and retrograde vernier we had discussed in our chapters this is different type of verniers likewise retrograde vernier is there likewise direct vernier is there this is a vernier sextant or you can say the astronomical sextant in which or which is used in double or extended vernier is used for these sextants uh, we had discussed for the for that particular scale and divisions of the main scale are divided into 2 and minus 1 divisions of the main scale and divisions of the vernier scale are equals to 2n minus 1 divisions of the main scale and divisions of vernier scale equals to 2n minus 1 divisions of the main scale that is or you can say the 60 divisions of vernier scale are equal to 119 divisions of the main scale that we had discussed in our vernier scale chapter please be careful so this is a double vernier or direct vernier double folded vernier double folded vernier vernier scale of circular scale is divided into 30 divisions which coincide with 29th main scale means n divisions of the circular vernier scale are equal to n minus 1 divisions of the main scale that is a basically case of the retrograde vernier this is half shadow polarimeter which is also used for the measurement of the angles this is a protractor in the absence of which our scale of chord is used in the absence of which scale of chords is used this is basically also a and the polarimeter this is basically range master which is used for the range finder or you can say the range master so my dear students this is also called as the range finder this is also called as range finder this is also called as the range finder or for the ranging purposes it is used this is basically 
the distance meter electronic distance meter directly by pressing this button we can measure the distance or we can measure the height of a particular point without chain or tape this is basically light waves is used by geodimeter 510 that is geodimeter 510 which uses light waves as its carrier waves whose range is 25 km plus minus 2 mm to 10 mm as its limit of the accuracy as its limit of accuracy this is the tellurometer whose range is basically 100 km which uses the microwaves as its carrier waves tellurometer this is basically the range finder also this is a company is Bosch range finder is there basically distanceometer is used this is basically micro chains in which telescope sockets and base bars and sliders and range drums are used these are called as the micro chains these are the steady diagrams to be used in tachyometric survey to be used in tachyometric survey these are to be used in tachyometric survey please be careful so these are having the horizontal and vertical crosshairs along with the stadia hairs these are called as the stadia hairs distance between them is i that is small i turnian axis difference this is basically the tachyometric theodolite or you can say tachyometer you can say prismatic or you can say transit light is there this is also a transit theodolite this is a transit theodolite this is a subtense bar in the case of the horizontal base subtense method horizontal base subtense method and vertical base subtense method this is a current instrument having the length of 3 to 5 meter length least count is 1 centimeter used for measurement of the horizontal distances in the undulating grounds in the undulating grounds these are the radio waves whose range is or radar this is his radar system which uses radio waves as its carrier waves range is up to 100 kilometers this is basically the passive system or passive sensor of the remote sensing this is basically the passive sensor of the remote sensing passive this is basically the passive sensor of the remote sensing passive sensor we had discussed about the active sensors and passive sensors of the passive sensor of remote sensing passive and active sensors of the remote sensing we had discussed so these are the radars or you can say the radar finding range radar instruments how the radar computer is working this is a pesometer that is an electromechanical and portable instruments which counts the number of paces we had discussed and velocity of the body movement it automatically records the number of paces and total distance is equal to the number of paces multiplied by the average distance of one pace this is basically the pedometer pedometer all uses we had discussed earlier in our um, chapter number that is linear measurements this is odometer which is attached with the circumference of the wheel and the total distance is equal to the number of revolutions measured by this one multiplied by the average length of the one wheel or one and circumference this is speedometer speedometer or odometer or this odometer is also called as the perambulator this is also called as the perambulator 
this is also called as the perambu later so this is also called as the perambu later which directly gives numbers and numbers are recorded in this particular meter this is a meter this is a surveyor wheel or measuring wheel which is likewise a perambulator it is also called as the perambulator it is also called as the perambulator this is average or you can say the pacing system likewise measurement of a cricket pitch length so cricket pitch length is measured using this system nowadays also cricket pitch length in various ipls various test matches is done with the help of this system only nowadays also cricket pitch length pacing system average length of one pace as per is code number as per is code number 1491 as per is code number 1491 average length of one pace is basically average length of one pace is basically 70 to 80 cm that is or have you can say the average length is 75 cm 75 cm these are the different type of chains engineer chains 100 ft long 100 links metric chains 20 to 30 meters chains after every five links different uh, clips are performed or provided gunter's chain is there these are the various chains likewise ten links or and after these links this one means the or you can say these are the this is having after one link this is after having two link three link four link or up to so on means after every 20 links these are the brass tallies these are basically the brass tallies are provided these are brass tallies are there these are basically in the brass tallies or brass tags you can also say or you can say brass tags brass tallies or brass tags so this end of the joint is end of the chain is provided with the swivel joint so that chain can be twisted not the bending or not the turning link is there ring is there i is code number 1492 tolerance limit per chain means maximum error permissible is 30 meter chain having maximum limit as 8 plus minus 8 mm having maximum limit as plus minus 5 mm in 20 meter chain and having maximum limit maximum limit of accuracy or maximum limit of error permissible as plus minus 3 mm in the case of the 10 meter chain these are the chain bunch of chain or gunter chain is there having 66 ft long 100 links are there these are this diagram we had discussed earlier base line check line tie line proof line each and everything we had discussed these or tie lines are also called as the auxiliary lines or these are the main survey line this diagram we had discussed in our class this is also the same thing so base lines check lines here definitions are given it is the main and longest line which passes approximately through the center of the field or which divides divides the complete area into two equal halves approximately check lines are used for the checking of the accuracy works or survey work basically details of metric chain are there likewise handle and hand in handle groove is there groove is basically provided for generally you can say for and uh, for fitting it with the help of the arrows in the ground a hook groove is provided these are various these are the brass rings after every meter length and tally after every 5 meter length in the case of 20 meter chain or you can say the tally or this is the tally after 10 meter this is the tally after 15 meter means how many number of cuts likewise this is having only what one cut means after every 5 meter this is having two cuts after 10 meter this is having three cuts so after 15 meter this is having four cuts in the case of 20, 30 meter chain after every uh, sorry after 20 meter length so these are the various 
tallies are provided these are the various chains steel band or band chain we had discussed in our uh, chapter of linear measurements consist of a long narrow strip of blue steel of uniform width 12 to 16 mm and thickness of 0.3 to 0.6 mm metric steel bands are available in the length of 20 to 30 meter length during continuous use length of a chain gets altered so these are practically inextensible and uh, used for the more accurate work band chains this is the band chain which is wrapped around a you can see in the reels in the form of the lee reels it is wrapped these are the testing of a chain with respect to the steel tapes with the help of the permanent test gauge after every 10 meter permanent stones are inserted into the ground and if we want to check the 20 meter chain then we can use the 20 meter chain only in between these and if you want to check the 30 meter chain then we have to check the chain we have to check the chain for the complete this permanent test gauge so this is basically for the 30 meter chain this is basically for the 30 meter chain and this is basically for the 20 meter chain this is basically for the 20 meter chain this is the testing or adjusting adjustment of a chain with the help of the level platform or with the help of the permanent test gauge this is the best permanent test gauge is there this is the linen or cloth tape made of the linen cloth with the brass handles this is the linen tape all the handle at zero and whose length is included in the tape means this 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 complete length is included in the length of the tape very light and handy but cannot withstand much wear and tear effect means can be used for only for the flatty area or you can say not a very rough area so it cannot be used for very accurate work it is used in serving except for the taking subsidiary measurements like offsets cloth and linen tape diagram is there this 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 metal ring this metal ring is length is also included in the length of the tape metallic tape is there this is the metallic tape this is the steel tape having the coefficient of thermal expansion as 3.5 into 10 to the power minus 6 per degree centigrade this is the invar tape very very accurate instrument is there very accurate and is used for the high precise work these are used for the baseline measurements in the case of the triangulation survey these are less affected by the temperature very soft material is there alpha is in the range of the steel that is 12 into 10 to the power minus 6 per degree centigrade in the invar 36 percent nickel is there and 64 percent steel is there invar tapes these are also invar tapes Invert tape are made of the alloy of the nickel 36% and steel 64% nickel 36 steel 64 steel 64 having very low coefficient of thermal expansion that, that's why you can say that very less affected by the temperature changes these are 6 mm wide generally available in the length of 30 and 50 meter and so meter length 100 meter length it is not affected by the change of temperature therefore it is used when high degree of precision is required According to IS code number 1482, 1842 and 1861, arrows are used for every 4 meter length, sorry, every chain length, arrows and it is necessary to supply 10 arrows with the chain by the supplier. They are also called as the marking pins or chaining pins and are used to mark the end of each chain during the process of chaining. To mark the end of each chain length, arrow is inserted in the ground but when the ground is hard scratch may be made with the upper point end follower basically uses the used arrows and leader basically uses the unused arrows very very important concept is there follower basically uses the used arrows means which is let us suppose that this is follower and this is leader so leader always use this is basically the leader and this is the follower follower always uses the unused arrows sorry Follower always uses the uh, used arrows and leader always uses the unused arrows. Please be careful. We will discuss a numerical. Arrows are having the length of a 20 to 50 centimeter length. Average value 40 centimeter plus minus 5 mm. Diameter is 4 mm. Diameter is there. These are the wooden bags. These are also the wooden bags. 
according to IS code number 2288 these are the ranging rows and offset rows all the dimensions we had discussed these are the ranging and offset rows these are the plaster lathes plaster lathes basically are used for marking the position of the or in the place of the wooden planks these are called as the plaster lath these are called as the plaster lathes and whites when the ranging rows are limited thin sticks of 400 mm to 1 meter length with white papers uh, these are called as the whites or you can say the plaster lathes these are these are called as the whites or plaster lathes in the cuts at the top can serve their purpose such sticks are pointed at the bottom and are cut from the wood these are the lathes and these are the whites both are having the same functions lathes and whites lathes are 0.5 to 1 meter long sticks of the soft wood whites are the pieces of a sharp thick sticks cut from the nearest place of the field these are basically uh, the in the place of you can say on the line ranger or this is a line ranger which uses the light waves as its carrier waves to establish intermediate points when two points are intervisible likewise in the case of the direct leveling this is a field book single line and double line field book having the size of 12 cm multiplied by the 20 cm
pause control and push shift so this is our measurement book in which all the measurements are done for the practical purposes this is the leveling field book or leveled field book in which all the leveling calculations of likewise rise and fall method height of instrument method each and everything are noted this is the basically optical square in case optical square no adjustment is done or you can say the angle between the different surfaces reflecting surfaces is constant no adjustment is required this is the optical square optical or you can say prism square which is based upon the both these instruments this one and this one instrument are based on the penta prism principle on the basis of the penta prism on the basis of the or these are consist of the penta prism and on the basis of the double reflection principle double reflection principle these are based upon the double reflection principle these are the various important characteristics of optical square and prism square this is a prism square this is a prism square double reflection principle square these are the perpendicular and oblique offset this is the perpendicular offset this is the oblique offset this is a side square which is likewise a theodolite the side square is an instrument which is used to set two point exactly at the right angle or you can say with respect to each other at 90 degree with respect to each other side square has similar working as that of the cross staff side square or you can say the prism square or you can say the optical square but gives more accuracy and simplicity but it is more costly instruments it is very costly instruments as compared to the optical square side square prism square and cross staff these are the use of side square in the field this is the receiver second position this is the receiver first position or you can say in between them angle is always 90 degree angle is 90 degree so please be careful this is the open cross staff which is used for angle or you can say the right angle with respect to the each other for the setting out of different offsets for long offsets long offsets are the offsets which are having the length of more than or equals to 15 meter this is the open cross staff this is open cross staff this is french cross staff less accurate than the open cross staff this is adjustable cross staff adjustable cross staff so this is basically my dear students the compass that is the prismatic compass whole circle bearing system is graduated this is object vane this is the i vane i vane is having the mirror least count is having 30 minutes or i vane or sight vane or weaving vane aluminum ring is there at the bottom of the graduated circle here prism is fitted with that the object vane this is the surveyor's compass that is quadrantal bearing or reduced bearing system is graduated surveyor compass having the least count of 15 minutes in this particular compass the reading or you can say the graduated circle is attached on the box itself please be careful this is basically a vernier transit third light this is a vernier transit third light also this is a tripod stand this is the electronic third light this is the electronic third light optical plummet optical plummet we had discussed in plane table survey a device on some transit or third lights used to center the for centering purpose when or you can see the winds are there in that particular situations optical plummet is used as compared to the plumbo or instead of the plumbo this is basically the optical plummet also the optical plummet this is optical plummet also different uh, another another categories are there this is plumbo having or which is used for centering purpose and marking of the ground points to the or, or you can say sloping points to the ground this uh, plumbo is used having the nylon string and having the weight of 2.5 newton 
This is basically the earth stations in the case of the triangulation surveys. These are the communication satellites in the case of the triangulation surveys. These are the false or eccentric stations we had discussed. When it is not possible to set the instrument over a triangulation station, then some nearby stations are selected. Those stations are called as the eccentric stations or satellite stations or the false stations. This is the triangulation system basically. A baseline is measured with the help of and other angles are also measured for the accuracy purposes. Laplace station is defined as a station at which the Laplace or you can say the geodetic azimuth. Geodetic azimuth is also called as the Laplace. It is derived from the astronomical azimuth in the uh, by use of the Laplace equation. That is why it is called as the Laplace stations. These are the luminous and non-luminous signals. In the case of the pole signals and target signals. Target signals and pole signals are there. Opaque signals or non-luminous signals are used basically in the time of the day or daytime. These are the opaque signals. Opaque signals or non-luminous signals are used during the day. Various forms are called the pole signals, target signals, pole and brush signals, stone beacon. Basically, my dear student, these signals are basically used for the uh, triangulation survey. For triangulation survey. Luminous signals, that is basically you can see the night signals or further or you can see which uses the sun lies, sun rate. Galton sun, sun signals are divided into two categories, sun signals and night signals. Sun signals are those signals which reflect the rays of the sun towards the station of the observation are known as the heliotropes. Such signals can only be used in the clear weather. Daylight or non luminous signals that may be of the timber, post, mast, tin cone used for the site up to 30 kilometers for less than 6 kilometer pole signals are used and you can say for more than 6 kilometer target signals are used sun or luminous signals sun rays reflected to the satellites heliographs or helio tops helio starts length of sight exceeds 30 kilometer night signals observing the angle of triangulation system during the night oil lamps and acetylene lamps are used phase of signal basically Error of bisection of some type of signal when they are in partially light, partially light and partially in shade. Common when they are cylindrical signals and when observer sees the illuminated portion and bisect it. Leads to the apparent displacement of the center of the signal. Correction is required for bright portion and the bright line. This is basically the pole signal. This is basically the target signal. So my dear students, this is the, this is the pole signal. And this is my dear students, this is the target signal. Signal is used for the or having a specific target. This is a target signal, that is a pole signal. This is the Colby apparatus and Jadron apparatus are generally used for the triangulation survey. So this is the Colby apparatus or used for the Indian Coast and Geodetic Survey. This is American surveyors which used is or Russian system, world ice bar. This is the ice bar system is there. This is Russian system and ice bar is there. This is the ice bar. Ice bar system is generally followed in the uh, America and Russia system. This is a strewed geodetic arc. Strewed geodetic arc. Basically, this is used for the, you can say the triangulation survey. These are the US Coast and Geodetic Survey for the MBEC duplex barks for American surveys. MBEC duplex barks for American surveys. These are used for the American triangulation system. These are the bimetallic thermometer. Bimetallic thermometer for the general, you, you can say for the use of the uh, biometric survey or you can say the uh, hypsometric surveys. These are the various uh, thermometers to be used for the leveling purposes. Bessel's survey, Bessel's graphical method is used for the plane table survey and for these, these type of thermometers are used. Equipment and accessories for the plane table survey, trough compass, spirit level, U fork, each and every instrument, this is the, uh, this is basically the trough compass, uh, you can see from here also, this is a plane table. This is the U fork. This is the you can say the spirit level, 
स्प्रिट लेवल ट्रफ कंपास प्लम बॉब ट्राई पोर्ट स्टैंड टू पॉइंट एंड थ्री पॉइंट प्रॉब्लम डायग्राम्स वी हैड डिस्कस्ड इन आवर बेसल्स ग्राफिकल मेथड वी हैड डिस्कस्ड इन आवर प्लेन टेबल सर्वे चैप्टर प्रिंसिपल ऑफ प्लेन टेबल सर्वे जनरली वेन थ्री लाइन्स ड्रॉन डो नॉट मीट एट ए सिंगल पॉइंट दे फॉर्म ए ट्रेंगल ऑफ एरर एंड दैट ट्रेंगल ऑफ एरर इज मिनिमाइज यूजिंग बेसल्स ग्राफिकल मेथड यूजिंग using different trials and error method hit and trial method each and everything is there this is borda road used for the uh, basically for the triangulation survey this is bilby steel tower used for the uh, sun signals or you can say the non apex signals or opex signals and night signals uh, pole signal target signals for bilby tower is used this is the heliotropes or heliographs for the marking of the station position or triangulation station position is marked with the help of the heliotropes or heliographs this is the heliographs or heliotropes so this is galton sun signal in the or you can say the luminous signals is basic form of the galton sun signal galton sun signal is there so my dear students in this particular video lecture my aim is just only to show the instruments and the topics which we had which had not been covered in our uh, lectures because the triangulation survey is not in our syllabus that's why i had not covered the particular triangulation survey in detail during the lectures but i covered here just only for your knowledge purposes this is mostly used level survey or kepler style scope Y level or you can say the non-transit level. These are not used nowadays because of the because line of sight cannot be reversed by 180 degree even by rotating the instrument by 180 degree. So this is the non-transit satellite. This is non. This is non-transit satellite. This is non-transit. Third light. Non transit third light. This is reversible level is there A combination of dumpy level and Y level, in which telescope can be reversed without rotation the instrument. Collimation error can be eliminated in this case because of bubble left and bubble right reading of the telescope, balanced or eliminated. This is the engineering survey, or you can say the uh, the telescope which had been used in past days. These are the drainage levels, or you can say different type of the telescopes, different type of telescopes. This is the tilting level. Tilting level is a surveying instrument which with sighting telescope so mounted that it can be raised or lowered through a limited arc without impairing the accuracy of the reading. Through axis of the rotation is not precisely horizontal. In that particular case. tilting level is our used in that particular case tilting level is used this is the tilting level instrument an automatic level self leveling level or builders auto level auto level is basically used in the place of the tachometer or you can say at the site generally auto level is commonly preferred so this is basically tachometer or the auto level auto level instrument is there atmospheric refraction correction is the deviation we had discussed of the light or you can say the deviation of the light due to some parameter some parameter atmospheric it passes through atmosphere due to the variation in air density air density is the function of the height air density increases as the height increases air density decreases as the height decreases this is the atmospheric refraction originally this is the apparent star position this is the actual star position actual star position looks like a somewhat great so this correction is always positive this is the construction of the dumpy level components of uh, you can say third light barometer for barometric survey scientific instrument is measured at atmospheric pressure also called as the barometric pressure these digital barometers are or displaying slightly different readings atmospheric of the air wrapped around the earth 
this is the aneroid barometer which is used basically for the uh, uh, biometric survey this is the range finder or you can say the this is our range finder this is our range finder for the various ranging instruments this is the geodimeter 510 which uses the light waves as its carrier waves this is surveyor or Kepler's telescope this is the also a telescope this is different type of eyepieces to be used in Kepler telescope Ramsden eyepiece, orthoscopic eyepiece, airfoil eyepiece each and every eyepiece is used in the case of the telescopes Ramsden eyepiece basically this is Huygens eyepiece in general Ramsden eyepiece is commonly used having the two plano convex lenses having two plano convex lenses and the in between them the distance should not be more than 2 by 3 of the focal length of each convex lens this is Huygens eyepiece also convex of the also consists of the two plano convex lenses separated by distance equal to half the sum of their focal length means that is the f1 plus f2 divided by 2 or you can say the average type of monochromatic abrasions that is spherical aberration coma astigmation astigmatism curvature of the field different type of the spherical aberrations are there different type of the di optical defects are there this is a coma basically coma astigmatism are the common imperfection in the eyes this is the astigmatism astigmatism cornea this is the this is erecting eyepiece and non erecting eyepiece two type of eyepieces are there this is also eyepiece this is a leveling stuff which is uh, zero reading is measured at bottom level and up to top level leveling stuff also called as the leveling road is graduated wooden or aluminium road used with the leveling instrument to determine the difference in height between the points or height between the points above vertical datum cannot be used without a leveling instrument telescopic stuff leveling stuff folding type stuff which can be folded easily with the help of a button folding stuff is generally 4 meter long divided into two equal parts of 2 meter each it is hinged in the middle so that the top half can be folded over the lie against the lower half leveling stuff as per IS code number 1779 also called as the leveling road graduated wooden or aluminium road used with the leveling instrument to determine the difference in height between the points or height of the points above a vertical datum cannot be used without a leveling instrument this is a solid stuff which cannot be folded solid stuff is generally 3 meter long 75 mm wide 75 mm sorry 25 mm thick with a metal shoe at the bottom and graduated at on the one face the smallest division of the the millist count is 5 mm they are generally made of the good quality wood they are made of the good quality wood this is the telescopic stuff in which e symbol is noted that is a telescopic stuff or you can say this is a telescopic stuff this is a target stuff which is used for a, a target only this is the self reading stuff this is the, our self reading stuff this is our telescopic stuff this is our target stuff this is our target stuff this is the inverted stuff problem how this is our instrument position instrument position this is straight stuff having the bottom value or this is sorry this is the stuff having zero reading here and this is the stuff having zero reading at the top so here negative readings are graduated here positive readings are increased please be careful these are the contour lines which we had discussed in our contour survey chapter different uses profile method pro these are the different methods of the contour interpolation this is the gradient of uh, contour gradient which we had discussed in our uh, contour survey chapter 
contour lines various contour lines basically the silon ghat tracer used for the measurement of the contour gradient in the field for measurement of the contour gradient in the field silon ghat tracer is used this is the overhanging cliff here uh, two lines of different elevation crosses each other in the overhanging cliff is there this is also the example of the overhanging cliff this is the valley or vertical cliff is there in the marked position is the vertical cliff this is the cave or penetrating a hill this is a cave or penetrate cave penetrating a hill in a hill in between a hill a cave is there this is a cave penetrating a hill also this is a, also a cave penetrating a hill these are the saddle points in bottommost points in between the two rises is called as the saddle points this is the planimeter used for the measurement of the area of any shape and you can see the our uh, polar planimeter is generally used our polar planimeter is commonly preferred polar planimeter is commonly preferred polar planimeter was invented by swiss mathematician jacob amseler that's why called as the amseler polar planimeter constructed from metal or plastic resin planimeter consists of the following that is tracer arm carries measuring wheel vernier each and everything this is also amseler polar planimeter mass hole diagram basically for the balancing of the cutting and filling of earthwork mass hole diagram is used ordinate represents this ordinate this ordinate this one this is the ordinate represents the amount of the volume and this axis complete this axis represents the hole distance this represents the hole distance so mass hole diagram is defined as the volume of materials multiplied by distance moving during construction a mass hole diagram mass hole line and the mass hole view mass hole represents the free hole and overhaul co volume comes in the uh, cut and fill along the and this line which balances the amount of the cutting and filling this line this line this line which balances the amount of the cutting and filling likewise this if i am erasing this particular this one if i am erasing and again drawing the line so this complete line or along this line along this line is called as the balancing line this line is called as the balancing line which um, which balances the amount of the cutting and filling so this is the balance line or the balance line is balances the amount of the cutting and filling to create a mass hole diagram software for mass hole curve is used that is autodesk knowledge network this is a fiducial edge of the this edge is called as the fiducial edge this edge is called as the fiducial edge of the this complete edge is called as the fiducial edge of the you can see the led telescopic led is there for horizontal and vertical distance measurement on the ground this is the telescopic led this is a different type of leds used in the plain table survey this is also a telescopic led 
this is the tubular spirit level which is for the leveling purposes for the plane table this is circular spirit level this is trough compass for orientation of the plane table to the north these are the various steady diagrams this is a prism square or prism bar this is the poros telescope that is the internal focusing type telescope poros telescope concave lenses are used in general case of the uh, poros telescope which is used in the tachymeter and the lens used in this particular poros telescope is analytic lens and the lens used is called as the analytic lens analytic lens which is basically the unalterable in nature on alterable in nature or analytic lens or having c value equals to 0 and k value equals to 100 this is the basic characteristics of the unalterable or analytic lens this is the led and plane table survey this is rds auto reduction tachometer for the different stadia surveying this is the rds auto reduction tachometer this is the altimeter altimeter is the process of measurement of the height and altitudes this is the horizontal curves measurement these are the horizontal curves these are the horizontal curves on the roads horizontal curve provides a transition between the two tangent strip of roads along the vehicle to negotiate a turn at a gradual rate rather than a sharp curve design of curve is dependent on the intended design speed for the roadway these are the horizontal curves all these are the horizontal curves vertical curve and this is basically the vertical curve if the slope and grid changes that is called as the vertical curves are the second two important transition elements the first being the horizontal curve second being the vertical curve these are the vertical curves different vertical curves may be sag or valley curves or summit or crest curves parabolic in nature these are various vertical curves this is a reverse curve a reverse curve is there this is a reverse curve example this is also a reverse curve example this is two centered compound curve we had discussed in our uh, setting out of the curve chapter this is collimeter for the angle measurements this is the abney level in which extended vernier is provided this is the abney level this is the pentagraph which is used to enlarge the already plan already drawn plan on the office pentagraph and the most version improved version of pentagraph is called as the adograph as you see in the your a particular in the front of diagram this is the adograph this is brunton's compass which is used for the compass survey or mining dial as a mining dial brunton's focused compass very 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 costly instrument is there this is hydrographic or bathymetric survey in which sounding values are calculated with the help of the sounding rods this is microscript antennas which uses the micro waves as their carrier waves these are the microscript antennas i have discussed with you people in the chapter of advanced surveying or modern surveying about the microscript antennas this is the total station used for the measurement of horizontal distances vertical distances sloping distances or calculating the rl of different points each and everything this is the total station this is the gps system that is global positioning system gps system google map system gis that is the geographical information system is like having the setup like this we have discussed each and everything that is the software that is the this is basically which uses the softwares software tool this is the computers or you can say the hardware tools 
different satellites, softwares, different data, 2D, 3D videographs, analysis is done, and maps are plotted, each and everything around the earth. These are the different data layers for the GIS, integrated data, vegetation data, building data, and street data, likewise this in GIS system. This is Landsat program that is uh, Landsat 7 satellite is having the our very very active uh, sorry uh, active sensor that active sensor is called as the enhanced thematic mapper sensor enhanced thematic mapper sensor so please remind about one thing that is enhanced enhanced thematic mapper sensor and my dear students that enhanced thematic mapper sensors was provided in our satellite Landsat 7 satellite and this was having 8 number of bands 8 number of bands we had discussed in our modern surveying or you can say the advanced surveying this is the Landsat set data each and everything principle of the remote sensing how remote sensing works on the basis of the radio waves generally or you can see the laser lights everything Landsat 8 satellite is there Landsat 7 satellite Delta this was the Landsat 7 satellite first stage second stage fairing each and everything Landsat 7 was there these are the spectral bands band 1 to band 8 actual wavelength geometric resolutions in meters Landsat 7 satellites is having the basically enhanced thematic mapper sensor and having the 8 bands and actual wavelength was there likewise that and the geometric resolution was this one this is Landsat 7 satellite setup this is basically the gyroscope gyroscope and gyro satellite I have discussed in your uh, advanced or um, modern surveying chapter gyroscope and this is the gyroscope this is gyro satellite or you can say the gyroscope gyro satellite or surveying gyro is an instrument composed of gyroscope mounted to a satellite determine the orientation of the true north for the orientation of the true north it is used this is the gyro satellite Gyroscope is a device consisting of wheel that turns very quickly inside a frame and does not change the position when the frame is moved. This is the setup of the gyroscope. Likewise, this is a gyroscope. This is the wild distometes having the range of 2 to 4 kilometers or 2 to 5 kilometers, and wild tachymetes are also having the range of the 2 to 5 kilometers. This is the wild tachymetes. So wild tachymetes and wild foot and distomates are having the range of range of two to two to four kilometers. And it is also having wind tachymetes also having the range of the having the range less than or equals to 4 kilometers while documents these are the aerial photographs taking using the aerial photogrammetry aircraft or other flying objects likewise a drone camera these are various aerial photographs this is also aerial photograph terrestrial photogrammetry is an important branch of science of photogrammetry deals with the photographs taken with the cameras located on the surface of earth at a fixed position the cameras may be handheld mounted on the tripods or suspended from the towers or any other specially designed mounts these are the oblique photographs which are taken or you can say the high oblique and low oblique photographs likewise in this particular photograph horizon is also seen that's why horizon or sky is also seen that is sky or horizon that's why we can say that 
this is a high oblique photograph these are the various type of photographs aerial photographs are there and terrestrial photographs are there aerial photographs are vertical oblique photographs oblique photographs are high oblique low oblique low oblique photographs are also called as the convergent photographs vertical photographs truly vertical tilted photographs so low oblique photographs are also called as the convergent photographs convergent photographs convergent photographs low oblique photographs are called as the convergent photographs these are the convergent or the air photos are also oblique but an area is simultaneously photographed by the two cameras this is the forward photo this is the backward photo so you can see the simultaneous photograph is called as the convergent photographs this is used for the measurement of the photo distances that is comparators stereo comparators and mono comparators we had discussed this is the parallax difference in calculation of the um, for the parallax calculations in the case of the photogrammetric survey this is stereoscopic parallax or that is the relief displacement we had discussed in our chapters these are the this is a mosaic mosaic is basically the uh, combination of two or more photographs aerial photographs or oh, this is also a mosaic mosaic this is also mosaic mosaic each and stereo plotters are used to plot the 3d digital terrain stereo plotters uses stereo photographs to determine the elevations to determine the elevations it has been primarily method of plotting the contours on the topographic maps although specific devices have advanced technology they are all based on the apparent change in the position of a feature in the two stereo photographs so these are also the stereo plotters stereo plotters working working of stereo plotters this is the flying height or you can say or this is the ground position so in between this is the flying height is called as or you can say this height complete this complete height this complete height is called as the flying height this complete height is called as the flying height likewise this overlap is the amount by which one photograph includes the area covered by another photograph and is expressed as percentage the photo survey is designed to acquire 60% forward overlap or you can say the longitudinal overlap or you can say longitudinal overlap having the range of approximately 60% between the photo and along same flight line and 30% lateral overlap or you can say the and overlap or you can say and overlap is there 30% so 22 this is 60% forward overlap this is 22 and 40% as the and overlap and overlap
so this is about the some tidal survey this is the first quarter new moon to full moon likewise that this is the basically earth center to the moon position sun position is there spring season is there spring season spring tide neap tide neap tide is there tidal survey spring night tide neap tide is there how spring tide and neap tides are formed how mean sea level is formed generally so this is basically the solar and lunar tides so lunar tide is basically due to the uh, moon position and the solar tide is basically due to the sun position this is the different positions of the different positions of the moon and according to that this is different phases of moon likewise third quarter moon waning gibbous full moon waxing gibbous first quarter waxing crescent new moon and waning crescent is there these are the 3d view of the first quarter waxing gibbous full moon burning gibbous third quarter waning gibbous new moon waxing crescent each and everything is there these are the different phases of the moons this is the basically the field astronomy celestial poles are there south north celestial pole south celestial pole this is the equator axis equatorial axis celestial equator is there likewise this this is the our celestial equator this is the north pole on the earth this is the south pole on the earth this is the west equator on the earth this is east equator on the earth this is the declination is there and this is earth rotation axis celestial sphere is there celestial equator is there so this is autumn equinox next autumn equinox that is spring equinox that is ecliptic circle each and everything this is the basically terminology of the field astronomy likewise north celestial pole likewise south celestial south ecliptic pole north ecliptic pole celestial latitude celestial equator autumn equinox spring equinox celestial longitude star position is there north polar distance is there so my dear students along with this we have seen various instruments to be used in our surveying chapter and about the different new things likewise of the triangulation survey likewise the tidal survey and everything thank you so much goodbye and keep learning